to Manor Road Studio. My name is Dale. I'll be with you for just a few minutes. This is the Free and Live podcast, the uh, humanist way, if you will. So the title today is Ukraine Democracy Freedom. Um, it's one of those topics we wish we didn't have to discuss, but I think uh, it would be remiss. I'd be remiss if I didn't. Uh, more than likely, you, no matter where you're at in the world, all our eyes are on what's happening in Ukraine. Um, it, it's, it's a sad moment for the world, uh, but we found a way to have hope in the midst of it. I mean, we've seen the resolve of the Ukrainian people. And I just read today that Ukraine, that are living abroad, that maybe studying, working uh, out of the country, are coming back in droves just to pick up arms and fight um, for what they believe in. It, it's hard to imagine having to do that, and it's hard to imagine people that will do that. But you got to think, in Ukraine, uh, unlike um, some other places like America where I'm at, you know, we have, we have freedoms that we take for granted. Uh, we have privileges that we take for granted. Um, and we have comforts that we take for granted. We have wealth that we take for granted. See, the thing about Ukraine is they have very little of that. Um, they've been a democratic country for, I think, 30 years. But during that 30 years, they've had revolt, regimes, uh, even a government that, that sold them out to Russia. So these people only know um, how to love their country, how to have patriotism. So when Russia, or any country for that matter, but we'll talk to Russia because that's what's going on. When Russia started infiltrating their country, I think they expected the citizens, and especially the government, to fold and lay down, and just the opposite happened. Now, I'm not saying Russia will or won't win this war. I'm hoping to goodness they don't, but I don't think they expected their absolute resolve of the Ukrainian citizens to push back because they were willing to die for democracy and freedom. And we can't help but to say thank you, uh, simply because if they weren't making a stand today in their country, who knows what would happen 10 years from now if we allowed fascism and autocracy to move into sovereign nations. Now, let's bring that home just a little bit. Because I put on there, what are you willing uh, to give up because you know the price of freedom and the price of progress is heavy to some people. I'm going to kind of use what some would say is a silly example, but by the same token, uh, I just want you to, to absorb what, what I'm what I'm talking about. Think about Interstate 40. Interstate 40 was probably a 30-year working process from the early 60s to the late 90s, and obviously construction still going on. Um, but there were there were so many small businesses family businesses, families that were displaced because of the construction of I-40 or any state highway that might bypass small town America. Uh, so these were people that gave their livelihood for their dream, their small cafe, their small store, their small garage, their small gas station. And when I-40 was built, if you drive out west, which Chris and I have done, and I've done it many, many times, uh, over the years, you can still see the skeletons and the carnage of the construction that took place in I-40. These mom and pops gave up everything, more than we'll ever realize, because for the greater good, probably for 99.999% of the country, I-40 was a good thing. So now I-40 is littered with chain hotels, chain restaurants, chain truck stops, gas stations, at the expense of these people who gave everything they had. Let me bring that to your backyard, if you will. I personally like Popeye's chicken. Don't laugh at me. Popeye's chicken, KFC, Slim Chickens, Raisin Cane, Ch uh, Church's Chicken. Name your local chicken in your town, your favorite chicken restaurant in your town or fast food, would you want that chicken plant that supplies these restaurants built in your neighborhood? 
I think the unequivocal answer would be absolutely not. I'm not willing to give up my value, yet I want to eat that chicken. Now, you won't mind if that's happening in somebody else's neighborhood. It wouldn't bother you a bit, as long as it's not happening in yours. Now, I say that to say all this. We are free and alive. And, and I'll admit, we started this in October uh, of last year, so we've been here six months, somewhere in that area. And, and I've kind of struggled to, to get legs under this. Not, not by amount of people. we got 682 people that follow us. But I hadn't been able to, to prop up the cause that I want to propagate uh, and, and grow with on this page. But I know this. I know that I resolutely want to support democracy and freedom and I want to somehow support the people that are fighting in Ukraine because so many families have lost their homes their businesses their churches their schools their livelihood many many people have died at the expense of a fascist regime that wanted to infiltrate a sovereign nation so I'm asking you as free and alive here we are the humanist way what can we do? Some may say we can't do anything, but we have a voice. That voice can be, how do we promote love? How do we promote freedom? How do we promote democracy? Yeah, maybe I'm one voice, but all 682 of us? And if we keep sharing this page and getting more people in, you would be surprised at what the people the power of the people can do. I want to read one thing, and we'll, we'll call it we'll call it a podcast. Uh, as always, I want to hear from you. This is this is so important, and I really want you to share this page so so we can grow. Uh, we're around the world. We're all over the world. So let let's stick together on this. So here here's my quote. I want to end with: The kindest people are not born that way. They are made. They are the ones who have dug themselves out of the dark, who have fought to turn every loss into a lesson. The kindest people don't just exist. They choose to soften where circumstances tried to harden them. They choose to believe in goodness because they have seen firsthand why compassion is necessary. They have seen firsthand why tenderness is so important in this world. So while people are talking about war, let's find a way to talk about peace and love. Please share with me, talk to me, give me ideas. Uh, that we can we can just make free and alive go go global uh, because I'm telling you we may be just a few voices but it don't take much for that snowball to head downhill and pick up steam and before you know it we're a lot of voices and then we can make a difference.